Hello, I'm Lorelai Corcoran, professor and director of the Institute of Egyptian Art and Archaeology at the University of Memphis. Welcome to the 17th annual William J. Murnane Memorial Lecture. This series was established to celebrate and commemorate the life of our colleague, William J. Murnane, a renowned professor of Egyptian history who specialized in the Amarna period of the New Kingdom. It is my great honor to introduce this year's speaker, a colleague of Bill's, who is also an esteemed scholar of the Amarna era, Professor Mark Gabold, professor of Egyptology at the Université Paul Valéry, Montpellier. Professor Gabold is a former scientific member of the French Archaeological Institute in Cairo, a former director for excavation at the Royal Valley at the site of Amarna, and the author of more than 100 contributions to the study of Egyptology. During the years that Bill Murnane directed the University of Memphis Great Hypostyle Hall project at Karnak Temple, and up to the present day, Professor Gabold has conducted epigraphic work at the second pylon or gateway of the Amun Temple at Karnak ascribed to King Horemheb. His decades long work, as you will see, sometimes required astonishing acrobatic feats to obtain details from the blocks or talitat reused in the second pylon at Karnak that originally formed part of a temple built for Tutankhamun. Professor Gabul's lecture will chron chronicle the history of the scholarship that documented disparate blocks of this original monument and collaboratively incorporating the battle reliefs previously published by Ray Johnson. He will propose his own reconstruction of a temple, memorial or funerary commissioned by Tutankhamun's successor, King Ai, that preserves unique scenes depicting statue ri rituals, battles, and the coronation of Tutankhamun. I hope you enjoy this enlightening lecture by Professor Mark Gabold, Eyes Temple for Tutankhamun at Thebes. Good morning. I'm Mark Gabold, Professor of Egyptology at the University Paul Valéry, and it's a great pleasure for me to present this lecture uh, in honor of uh, Bill Murnane. Uh, in fact, I was uh, a good friend of uh, Bill Murnane. Uh, even I only knew him very, very shortly, uh, a few years before he died. And I'm very proud because I was probably one of the last authors he reviewed. He made a very nice review of my book, uh, D'Akhenaton à Toutankhamon. And uh, I was very sad when I learned a few months later that he passed away. So uh, we will talk of, about one of the monuments that he was interested in also, uh, the memorial built by King I for Toutankhamon. Most of the remains of this building have been recovered in the second pylon at Karnak, which is located here, just in front of the hypostyle hall. And uh, these blocks were known since the 19th century. Uh, Champollion did not mention uh, it when he was in Egypt in uh, 1828, but uh, Later on, it was uh, um, studied by one of his uh, draftmen, Nestorot. Here is the second pylon in the uh, in modern time. You can see that the, the second pylon had been partly uh, uh, reconstructed, and all this tower here has been reconstructed by Chevrier, as well as uh, this uh, uh, part of the south tower of the second pylon. Or another view of uh, this second pylon, uh, which is in really in, in great decay. As you can see, it, 
uh, this pylon collapsed in antiquity. And uh, you have here views from the 19th century showing uh, this uh, big mound of debris and blocks, uh, which uh, is at the location of the uh, second pylon itself. And you can recognize it on the view of the description uh, de l'Egypte uh, as well. And uh, in the old uh, photographies also, you can see the, the chaos of blocks here on the south and on the north. And among these uh, blocks, there were some uh, reused material from various time, uh, Hatshepsut, uh, Amenhotep III, Talatat from the time of Akhenaten, Talatat uh, reused by the time of Tutankhamun and I, and also big blocks, another view by Beato of uh, the second pylon at uh, in around uh, 1887, 1888. And so the first record we have are those of Nestor Lot, who was uh, there uh, in uh, first time with Champollion in 1828, uh, but uh, who came later in 1836, 37, and uh, uh, who climbed on the uh, debris of the second pylon and copied some of the blocks. The big block here with a head of a horse uh, coming from a, a, a hunting scene of Tutankhamun and also part of architrave with the name of the king and here also the name of the king and here name of King I. All the blocks are in fact architrave from the uh, time of Ramses the second. And on the rivers, uh, we have only uh, a little part of uh, the uh, name of King Ai. Uh, soon later, uh, Prizaven, uh, who was also in Karnak, made some drawing, uh, some drawings of the, the same series of blocks, uh, including the hunting scene of Tutankhamun, a very nice drawing, and other blocks from the second pylon, but also from the ninth and the tenth pylon. And it's not very easy uh, to, 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 to know from where some blocks were uh, copied. He also published in the transaction of the uh, Royal Society of Biblical Archaeology uh, some uh, sketches and uh, some cartouches, uh, some of them were obviously uh, copied from the uh, building uh, of Tutankhamun and I uh, from the second pylon. Here's the, 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 the Horace name of Tutankhamun, these cartouches, this one also, and also uh, the cartouches of uh, I uh, somewhere. Uh, in, 19, in 1844, Richard Lepius also visited the, the, the second pylon and copied one uh, cartouche of I and part of a, a, a dedicatory text uh, of I for Tutankhamun, but only, only, only a very few blocks uh, kept uh, his attention by this time. The next step was the work of uh, Georges Legrand, who uh, was at the beginning of the uh, 20th century working on the second pylon. And uh, thanks to Georges Legrand, some blocks, uh, decorated blocks of Tutankhamun were lowered and uh, some of them were sent to the Cairo Museum. This well-known uh, uh, block with uh, 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 an Egyptian soldier cutting the hand of a Nubian uh, enemy uh, was a word uh, by this time. And uh, this is uh, the drawing of Jose Galan of the same block, which was recovered recently in the basement. Uh, this beautiful block was also lowered by uh, Georges Legrand, and uh, it was once exhibited in the Cairo Museum, but now it had been uh, uh, transferred uh, 
uh, to the uh, Luxor Museum where uh, he uh, it is on, on display. It's a marvelous block and who, which has still preserved its color, which is unfortunately not the case of some other blocks. And uh, it's probably also Georges Legrain who lowered from the pylon this second block, which in fact uh, is uh, uh, the, the same, uh, the same uh, wall than the previous block with a prisoner which kept the attention of a lot of people. And you can see that these two blocks uh, fit together and uh, that uh, uh, they uh, belong to a big scene uh, reality, uh, with the relation of a, a, a Nubian battle. Here is a, is a, a second pylon by the time of Chevrier in the 1940s. And, uh, you can see, as I said, a big uh, a chaos of blocks. This is uh, the north uh, uh, tower of the pylon. And among these blocks, uh, there's very few of Tutankhamun and I. Uh, all the blocks with the name of Tutankhamun and I were, in fact, recovered in the upper part of the pylon. And I have made some uh, uh, tests on the lower part of the pylon, and there is no blocks uh, of Tutankhamun and I on the uh, lower part of the pylon. Still this uh, marvelous block uh, of prisoner with uh, um, with uh, one prisoner with uh, uh, surprising manacles and uh, we shall see a detail of it uh, later on. So this is a photograph of uh, Henri Chevrier who uh, uh, studied also this block and uh, with a lot of photography of details. And here's the famous details with the man manacles in the shape of a lion. It was so surprising for uh, Chevrolet that he, make, he made a nice drawing of it. And uh, I also made some photographs of it. Here are my own uh, photographs uh, made in, uh, 30 years ago. and. Other details, trumpeters, uh, the, uh, the detail of the uh, uh, of the prisoner, the whole block, and the recent ortho photography made by the uh, Centre Franco-Egyptien d'études des Temples de Karnak by Emily Sobest, which allowed to make a, a very very accurate rendition of the uh, block here. It's part of the drawing of this big scene with the Nubian battle and uh, and the, the text and reconstruction of the missing part now. It's probably also uh, Georges Legrain who lowered uh, this block with uh, uh, the royal barge and a, a very uh, intriguing detail, uh, a prisoner in a cage this was also partly studied by uh, Chevrier, and uh, it was also at one time attributed to Amenhotep II, and I don't know why. On the uh, other uh, surface of this block, there is part of uh, the ritual of the statue of Tutankhamun on the bark, which are, are very, very uh, interesting. Uh, other blocks were lowered by uh, uh, Chevrier, part with the name of Tutankhamun intact in this case. Uh, some uh, cast of the plaster which was found between blocks when they were reused. And this was very interesting for, um, for uh, Chevrier who paid uh, great attention to these fragments of ancient, uh, uh, un 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 unwilled uh, 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 casts. So he made some photograph of this uh, old uh, uh, stamp uh, of the uh, blocks. Uh, he photographed a lot of blocks with a scale. Here, one block which was once in the uh, in, near the, the the door leading to the south tower of the second pylon, 
uh, on most of them, the name of I had been completely uh, removed and the uh, surface smooth once again. Uh, other blocks depict uh, some scenes and are still at Karnak. Here, uh, the, 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 the scene with the four cars. And uh, here, uh, the scene of thought. Uh, some architrave with here's the name of Tutankhamen, here's the name of I on the upper line, and Tutankhamen on the lower line, and here too uh, some part of architrave. And most of these blocks have been recut re when uh, reused in the second pylon, so part of the text is uh, irremediably lost and uh, is missing. And all the uh, blocks with the uh, upper part uh, of the dedicatory text of I are in fact uh, part of a, 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 a biggest assemblage, where the top of the line is systematically, systematically missing. It was uh, 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 the upper part of the of the block was described on another. Uh, blocked and uh, uh, I, I, and now uh, we have not the top of the first line of the text. Unfortunately, uh, part of the uh, photograph and uh, glass uh, plaque, uh, photographic plaques, uh, or uh, glass of um, uh, Chevrier have been lost uh, since the, the 1952. And uh, as you can see, uh, some uh, some glasses are, are in bad decay, as this one, and or this one, and uh, part of the of the photographic uh, uh, glass are uh, now uh, lost and have uh, no more uh, argentic uh, uh, surface preserved. As you can see, it's a really uh, a pity because part of these blocks have been uh, uh, <clears throat> been rebuilt in the second pylon, and the only uh, try trace of the, their inscription was on this set of uh, photographs, which are now um, for one part uh, uh, absolutely lost. So here you can see the damage uh, that happened to this uh, uh, to these photographs. And for example, this block has probably been uh, uh, rebuilt inside the second pylon, and the only trace we have is this uh, photograph, uh, which is uh, partly uh, damaged uh, by the action of. Uh, uh, water and uh, and uh, and uh, decay uh, due to time. In the 1960s, other blocks were found in the uh, ninth pylon uh, at Karnak, which were uh, supposed to belong to the same monument, uh, which is not my opinion. In fact, on this series of blocks. We have only Tutankhamun, and I uh, is depicted, uh, but as a divine father of under Tutankhamun, as no, and not as king. So this monument is earlier, and we have no linked direct link between the material from the second pylon and the material from the uh, ninth pylon. Not the same date, not the same place of reuse, and not the same kind of monument. Uh, in the ninth pylon, the, this block belonged to uh, some doors and uh, not to uh, 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 the, the shrine built by High Fortress and Gabon. This uh, block was uh, uh, studied by Ramadan Zahad with a uh, uh, drawing of Francois de Saoud. Unfortunately, these drawings are now preserved in Lyon, in France, and I was able to, to get a, a, a high resolution scan of this uh, material. Here you can see the King Tutankhamun running and just behind him, the Divine Father I uh, uh, 
and, uh, and so this means that when this lintel was engraved, eh bien, uh, I was not yet king. Uh, other uh, fragments of the same element from the original drawing theory of uh, François de Saoud in Lyon, and of course this marvelous block, which is now uh, on display in the open air museum. And uh, this is the only block for which I have not recovered uh, the drawing of François de Saoud, but fortunately I made a, a reconstruction of the whole scene uh, five years ago, so uh, we can republish it without uh, any uh, big problem. And uh, one of the uh, blocks from the uh, ninth pylon, which were uh, not uh, uh, published in drawing was uh, this part of a, a bull hunting. And uh, so I made the drawing, uh, which uh, because it was only published in photograph. And still inside the ninth pylon, there is some fragments of column, some fragment of cornax, which uh, belong to this monument, which date from the time of Tutankhamen, but not from the time of King Ai, and which must, in my opinion, be uh, absolutely distinguished from the uh, monument reused in the second island. Um, in the 1970s and 1980s, uh, uh, the monument, the blocks were studied by Otto John Chadden, and uh, he made a very nice series of uh, drawings, which were published in the newsletter of the American Research Center in Egypt. And you can see here uh, these drawings. Uh, it's not exactly uh, a very um, uh, a very precise and accurate drawing. All these drawings were made. Uh, from photographs, so there are some uh, parallax uh, uh, mistakes, and uh, Otto Schaden uh, made only very few uh, uh, attempt to uh, fit together all these blocks, and so, uh, for example, uh, he, he, he published also this block, which is now still in the second pylon uh, on the top of the. Uh, Northern Tower, but uh, didn't find uh, how it could be linked to uh, some of the other blocks. He also pub published some uh, blocks uh, from a door, uh, which are now on uh, on the Southern Mastabat Karnak, and fragments of pillars, including this one, and fragments of other archetypes and uh, fragments of doors. And uh, it, was a, it was a nice job, but unfortunately, uh, uh, Otto Schaden had, hadn't, at this time, an idea of the plan of the monument and uh, how to, to arrange all these blocks uh, in order. And, uh, and he made uh, uh, some series, but uh, generally incomplete. For example, uh, the only uh, uh, complete preserved pillar uh, was only uh, drawn for one of his face, and the three other remained uh, uh, without uh, drawing published. Uh, he also uh, made some attempt uh, uh, of uh, fitting together some blocks of pillar with success. But he included also some blocks we are, which have nothing to do with the monument built by I for Tutankhamen. For example, this row of uh, Nile gods is from the time of uh, Amenhotep III and has nothing to do with uh, Tutankhamen and I. And uh, as well as uh, this uh, goddess Mut, which uh, probably do not belong, uh, does not belong to. Uh, the memorial built by High for Tutankhamen. Uh, he also published some uh, hunting scenes. Uh, here, uh, a scene with uh, hunting of antelopes, 
Uh, unfortunately, the block on the upper part does not belong to uh, the same scene, but to another one. He published some blocks with soldiers. This one, which is now going to the Grand Egyptian Museum. And unfortunately, this one is uh, now lost. I have not been able to recover it in the southern Mastabat. Perhaps it's somewhere uh, in the art market or in a, a private collection or uh, in, a, in a museum somewhere in Europe or in uh, America. Uh, Otto John Chaden also published fragments of a scene related to the uh, cult of the statues of Tutankhamun uh, placed on a bark, and, but only one block. And he also uh, gives some drawings of the reused uh, decoration from the time of Ramses II that can be seen on some of the blocks. And uh, for these two ones. Uh, sometimes later, uh, still in the 80s, Marianne Eaton Krauss uh, made some drawing of some blocks because uh, Otto de John Chaden uh, uh, apparently was not interested in making a kind of reconstruction of these blocks. So Marianne made this attempt uh, linking all these blocks. This one, in fact, belongs to another uh, architrave and not to this one. She also published fragments of the lintel of uh, uh, Tutankhamun and uh, I as Divine Pfizer, which we saw formerly, and uh, which uh, was not uh, published in drawing by, my, by um, François de Saoud. And in 1989, I published with my brother Luc uh, these four blocks uh, this one's still in the second pylon, and uh, these four blocks with a ritual on the statue of King Tutankhamun. And uh, in fact, we published it together because uh, we found a parallel to this uh, ritual in the mortuary temple of Tutmosis II on the left bank. And so this is part of the publication which was uh, issued in the BFAO. Uh, in uh, 1989. Uh, during this uh, uh, study, uh, uh, I discovered that some blog was still in the second pylon. This one with wonderful soldier uh, coming from the right, and which began to, which belongs to, belongs to the uh, an Asiatic battle. The return from an Asiatic battle is still in the second pylon, and I have tried to recover it recently. And unfortunately, uh, the, the, the blocks have moved inside the second pylon and is now completely inaccessible. And uh, in uh, 1989 uh, and 1990, uh, I got a, a, a scholarship from the French and Egyptian government to study this monument uh, at Karnak and during one year. And here I'm drawing one of the blocks of Tutankhamun in the top of the northern tower of the second pylon. Uh, there's, a, there's a big uh, hole, uh, about uh, 15 meters uh, inside the second pylon. And you can recognize the architraves of the hypostyle hole. I'm drawing this uh, this architrave, which are, has been already uh, drawn by uh, uh, Otto Shaden, uh, but I wanted to have a, 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 the uh, the same uh, kind of drawing for for all the blocks. So I made it my own rendition of the uh, uh, of the blocks, and you can see here this architrave which uh, uh, fit with uh, this one, uh, which was uh, found in the, this one was found on the Northern Mall and this one was found on the Southern uh, Tower of the Second Pilar. But they, they fit together. And uh, sometimes it was not uh, an easy way to, 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 to draw these uh, blocks 
Here I'm on the southern to tower of the second pylon, and uh, I wanted to draw this block, which was uh, put back at its original location by Henri Chevrier when he rebuilt uh, this uh, part of the pylon. And uh, it was needed because uh, we, have, we had only uh, a, a poor uh, photographic record of this block. And as you can see, it was not an easy task to, to, to draw uh, this uh, block from the, uh, 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 as this high in the, in, in the pylon. And you can see here, I'm drawing the, 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 the text on the uh, southern uh, surface. Uh, at this time, I was a very handsome and, uh, and uh, uh, smart guy, which has, unfortunately is no more the case. <clears throat> and this is uh, the block that I'm drawing at this time uh, from the photograph uh, uh, of uh, Chevrier. And as you can see, the photograph is unfortunately badly damaged. And you can see that this photograph was taken when the block was on the ground and not uh, put back in uh, the pylon. And this uh, is this, the other uh, uh, surface of the same block, uh, which belongs in fact to the decoration of the high pole steel hall uh, uh, of Seti the first and uh, Ramses the second. You can see here, the, uh, the the block uh, that uh, I was drawing and how it links uh, with uh, this block. Uh, it's a very special uh, uh, block because it's longer than all the other archives uh, of the monument of Tutankhamun and I. And this led me to the conclusion that there was probably a door uh, just behind uh, this architrave. Uh, which would explain why this block is uh, larger than the other blocks of the same monument. Uh, so after uh, uh, 1990, I was able to, to provide some reconstruction of the monuments and uh, plan a, a rough plan uh, of it. And uh, I started to make some drawings uh, on uh, ink and paper, but unfortunately, um, um, uh, the time was lacking, so uh, I cannot achieve this uh, task by this time. Uh, I uh, uh, nevertheless made some uh, nice drawings of some important blocks, which were used for my PhD. By the same time, uh, uh, Raymond Johnson, uh, from the uh, Oriental Institute of Chicago, uh, was studying some battle scene of Tutankhamun engraved on Talatat. And uh, he, uh, he, he made uh, from uh, my drawing a reconstruction uh, of the whole scene, which was very nice and very instructive and which uh, showed how uh, these blocks must be, must be uh, fitting uh, together in antiquity. I also found some fragments very far from Karnak, for example, this one, which was found at Medamud uh, and uh, with a prisoner in a cage, exactly as on another block uh, at Karnak. And I was uh, able to make some reconstruction of the scenes and uh, this one with a coronation of King Ai, which uh, for which I made also a reconstruction because uh, the images are very, very uh, uh, damaged. Uh, and the, the, the image of uh, Ai have been hacked out uh, very thoroughly. Here, uh, another, uh, the, the reverse of the same uh, series of block with uh, King Ai uh, leading the four cars uh, to a moon. I withdraw also, also this door by this time and made some attempt to arrange the architrave, which was uh, more or less uh, secure by this time. But since I have modified uh, quite a lot some uh, arrangements of these blocks, and I made also 
a set of photographs, which was uh, useful for the final drawing. Here's a wonderful cartouche of I, uh, of Tutankhamun, and here of I. And the fragments of Pilar. As you can see, uh, the, the, the name of Tutankhamun and the image of Tutankhamun have been uh, defaced, but it's not, uh, uh, it's not very regular. In some architraves, the name of Tutankhamun is still intact. On the pillar, it is hacked out. And it's very different from the name of I, uh, who have been uh, clearly completely defaced. And the, 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 the wall uh, uh, has been sanded so that uh, it was possible to engrave another name, which was never done. Who was responsible for uh, for this? Probably Horem Heb, who reused uh, the uh, the blocks in the upper part of his own second pylon at Cana. And by this time, uh, there was also uh, another study by Ray Johnson. Uh, I'm sorry, can he's partly uh, behind. Uh, my email. And uh, Regerton made its PhD on the uh, wall uh, battle scene, uh, Asiatic battle scene on the wall of Talatat. Uh, some of the Talatat were found at Karnak, for example, this one with the name of Tutankhamun, and this one, and this one. But others were found at Luxor. And, uh, and with uh, this, uh, material, uh, Ray Johnson was able to reconstruct uh, a big, big, big battle scene with the king uh, 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 um, uh, in his chariot uh, uh, going on the assault of a fortress in, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, Syria. And uh, with uh, the, the, the scene of the, the end of the battle and the triumph on the on the battlefield uh, with uh, the uh, Egyptian soldiers and their trophy, uh, uh, <clears throat> mainly some hands of enemies uh, <clears throat> uh, presented to the king. And uh, recently, uh, I was able uh, to 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 come back to Karnak for uh, nearly two years. And uh, uh, during uh, the uh, last uh, 25 years, I was able to find some uh, financial support from the Labex Archimed to make the drawing, final drawings of the, of the blocks, and also to, uh, uh, to go back to Kanak to check uh, 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 so some of the blocks inside the second pylon. So we went... Uh, for example, in this part of the compilation, which is fairly dangerous. As you can see here, you have uh, probably about uh, 15 meters. And here also you have a hole of 15 meters because this part of the pylon was emptied by a chevrier uh, in the uh, late 40s and early uh, 50s. And so you can see here the second pylon uh, with this big hole here, dangerous hole behind this pillar, and the uh, southern uh, edge uh, with uh, some blocks. So we went on this part because there was a one block here uh, that I wanted to to check. I only had the drawing of one surface, and the other surface was not accessible uh, thirty years ago. So I wanted to to check. It once again, uh, the architrave of Tutankhamun that I was drawing 30 years ago was here, and the other was here. So this time, uh, it was uh, Emily Sobes, the photographer of the Franco-Egyptian Center, uh, Abdul Rahman, and Ahmed Al Taher, just behind Emily, with a, a co-director of the Franco-Egyptian Center, who helped me uh, greatly. Uh, for uh, photographing the blocks. In fact, the block that I was interested in was this one. I have already made a drawing of this surface, 
but this one was absolutely impossible uh, to, 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 to draw. It was not possible to, to climb here. There was no, no, uh, no possibility to, 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 to work on these small surfaces. And it was not possible to photograph it from the top as this was very, very dangerous. So, uh, Emily Sobestre, Abdul Rahman, and Ahmed Al Tarar had a very great job and dangerous job. Huh? As you can see here, there's a hole of 15 meters, and here another uh, 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 <coughs> another wall of uh, uh, seven, 17 meters. So, here, um, the team in progress, all this. Uh, uh, dangerous task uh, only for drawing this block for uh, for Mark Gabold. It's uh, terrible uh, to to think to the danger that uh, they have and the risk uh, uh, for uh, only making good photographs. But at the end, it succeeded. It was possible to put a camera. Uh, on a pole and to photograph the upper part of uh, the blocks. And we got an author photography. And when we uh, discovered it, uh, we uh, saw that there was a big splash of concrete on the surface and only a few signs were uh, visible here. But uh, we saw here an arrow, uh, an end sign and part of the foot of another sign. So uh, this was enough to recognize uh, a, a block that was already known. And here uh, it was possible to remove the splash because the, the, the dust on the block uh, made it not very strong. And so uh, we got uh, this new author photo, which give a little bit more of the drawing. You can see here feathers, an animal hair, and uh, some signs here. Uh, still visible. And this was, in fact, part of this big block, which was seen by Pis Daven and Nestor Lot, and uh, which was lost since uh, uh, 1850. And uh, I was very, very, very uh, glad to uh, recover this block, which I thought was completely lost and uh, which, in fact, is still inside the second pylon. This is a drawing of Nestor Lot of the same block. And this is a reconstruction of the whole scene and uh, the, the, the block, uh, the, the fragment uh, uh, I, uh, I draw uh, is here. And uh, it was also an opportunity to lower some of the blocks, two of them, which were still on the uh, southern tower of the second pylon. And so uh, with the help of Raif Mahmoud, uh, this was uh, lowered uh, in June uh, 2021. Yes, recognize. Why is my Mahmoud? I know uh, this block is uh, near the other blocks from the same pylon in the southern Mastabas of Karnak. Uh, so uh, now all the drawings are nearly completed. As you can see, there are some reconstruction. Here I show you uh, the way uh, uh, to, to, to reconstruct this world group from the uh, uh, triumph at Karnak after the Asiatic battle. And you can see that I put the other cage 
with a prisoner from the block of Medamud in a symmetric uh, uh, position as uh, uh, this one on the big block. Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, on display in the Grand Egyptian Museum. Here's a wall scene and the recent drawing and uh, other scenes from uh, the uh, assemblage with the Nubian battle here, the start of the Nubian battle, and here the end of the Nubian battle, and presentation to the uh, uh, booty to uh, to, uh, to Amun, the beginning of the, uh, the uh, war with the king on his chariot, and the end of the war with the uh, king presenting all the prisoners and all the booty uh, to uh, Amun. Uh, it, it was also possible uh, to, to reconstruct more widely some scenes. Uh, for example, this one of uh, uh, leading the four calls and uh, the great offering, which is part of the same scene, and probably this part of Amun Kamutev. Uh, also, uh, this scene with uh, offering the Nemset vases, the coronation of King Ai, and uh, 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 an introduction of the king uh, for the coronation, but not in the same sense as the previous one. And I also propose to 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 put the two. Uh, battle scene of Ray Johnson uh, on each part of this door. Uh, and I submitted this to, to Ray and he, he accepted that this uh, uh, reconstruction could fit with uh, his own drawing. Um, and we made a new uh, digitalized uh, uh, drawing of the, the, the reconstruction of Ray Johnson in order to have the same uh, um, uh, specificities on all the on all the, the drawings. So the central part with a reconstructed doorway and the uh, uh, battle scene itself. I made also a new uh, drawing of the uh, scenes of the uh, ritual on the statues of Tutankhamen. And uh, this last year, a big amount of Talatat were uh, also added and uh, uh, to the study, uh, most of them from uh, the Temple of Luxor, uh, thanks to uh, Ray Johnson, but other were in the Pennsylvania Magazine uh, of the uh, American Resource Center in Egypt, thanks to Jocelyn Gohari. And uh, among these scenes, we have a, a procession probably uh, of the uh, Festival of the Valley, part of a, a text. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, very difficult to reconstruct something from these uh, fragments. We have also uh, some fragments with the name of King Ai, some with the name of Tutankhamun, and surprisingly, one with the name of Horem uh, so this will be also published here, yeah, fragment with the name of Tutankhamun. And fragment, uh, unfortunately, uh, difficult to, 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 to fit with other uh, fragments. So uh, at least we were able to reconstruct uh, some scenes with Bach procession which probably belongs to the Valley Festival. And we know that the temple was a, a resting place during the Valley Festival. So uh, we have the pro of the Bark of Amun, and here uh, the, uh, the, um, the, the toe. Um, a great interest uh, of this monument is that most of the architrave are uh, best preserved than uh, uh, the walls themselves. 
I would say that for the archives, there's about 70% of the monuments still preserved, but for the walls, there's only 15%. And as well for the pillars, there's only a few percent of the monument preserved. So from the uh, archive, it was possible to reconstruct some texts and some were very informative. We have uh, some uh, architraves which were, uh, in fact, perpendicular to the axis of the monument. This is the case of this one. And those and others which were uh, uh, parallel to the axis of the monument as uh, this one. And the texts uh, are dedication made by King I for Tutankhamun. Here it's reconstructed from another part of the uh, uh, another inscription of the same monument. And as you can see, there are some big gaps in the reconstructions. Uh, here we have much more part of the uh, inscription which is preserved with the name of Tutankhamun uh, and who uh, made a monument for his father, Amun. And uh, you must uh, take in account that this is the only complete a dedication text of Tutankhamun. All the other dedication texts are from the rule of King I. So, and here uh, it's only a vague uh, 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 statement that the king made uh, a temple for uh, uh, a new temple for his father in uh, in uh, uh, sandstone, and uh, it's not. Uh, uh, really uh, a complete uh, dedication text. Uh, we have also a dedication text of King I, who made a monument for the good god Tutankhamun, and uh, he made uh, for him uh, Hut M A and Ren Put, so a temple of million of years. And uh, some of the texts are very, very intrusive, like this one. We shall see in detail it further. And you can see that uh, a lot of part of the text has to be reconstructed. And this was made in red ink. So I have six uh, architraves uh, possible. And uh, on this, uh, there is some uh, dedication text. I will show you some detail here. Uh, the uh, King I made as monument for the good God, the uh, Lord of the two lands, uh, Nepreperwe, so uh, making for him uh, a temple uh, uh, as a, something new in uh, uh, in uh, sandstone. Uh, and image it uh, uh, for uh, uh, Im image the uh, king eye for him to the common uh, this. And on the lower part, the text is a dedication text of Tutankhamun, but very rare. Uh, we can see that Tutankhamun is the one who is building, uh, uh, who is the one who create him and who is uh, 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 giving uh, existence to uh, their majesties. So uh, it's, it concerns the God. It's very vague, it's not something very precise. Uh, on the symmetric uh, graph, we have also part of the dedication text of I for Tutankhamun. And uh, we have uh, also part of this one and uh, on this one, we have mention of a, a set hetep of for the Lord of the God, uh, which uh, means that it was a resting place uh, for uh, Tutan, for for the the statue of Amun, and uh, uh, it was also a temple of uh, in, in uh, with work of eternity. And uh, with mention of the uh, feast of the valley that we have on another block. Here on this block, we know that that's the temple 
was a resting place during the uh, feast of the valet, the valet festival. Uh, so uh, it is an important tape on regarding the, the, the role and the location of the monument. And also a uh, temple of million of years as uh, is stated on this part. Uh, there's only one pillar uh, preserved uh, for the decoration. And at least there were uh, 46 pillars needed. So it's uh, really uh, very strange that we have uh, about 70% uh, of the archives, but only 20% uh, of the, 15% uh, uh, of the pillars block. Uh, other uh, pillars, fragments of pillars, as you can see, the, the image of the king has been defaced very strangely. Somewhere, so on some surface, it's completely hacked out, and on other, it's only uh, partly the face which has been uh, uh, defaced. We have some pillars from the uh, uh, from the passage of the of the and the axis of the temple with the king absolutely alone, like this one. And we have uh, other, and we have uh, all the great Ennead of Karnak who was uh, depicted and named on uh, these pillars. And as you can see, some of them are not very informative. And some of uh, fragments of this pillar have been found at North Karnak by uh, Jean Jacquet and published by himself. So uh, this means that uh, when the monument was dismantled, part came to the second pylon, but uh, tiny fragments came to uh, Karnak, uh, the north part of Karnak, and were reused as, as a pavement uh, in a Ramesside construction. This is also the case of, uh, there's some, no, there's also some fragment from Karnak which were recovered uh, elsewhere in the temple, no partly in the magazine, but there were also some fragments from pillars recovered, in, reused in the tomb TT148 uh, on the left bank, and which are uh, going to be published by Boyo Kinga, but definitely they belong to the same monument as the memorial by Tutankhamun for I. There is also some pilier d'ante with the cobras, which are difficult to, 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 to put uh, in the uh, plan of the temple. So this is uh, uh, an attempt to reconstruct the wall monument with uh, this court, uh, the big uh, dedication text here. Here we know that there is a, probably a door here and a door here because the length of these are architraves is uh, uh, clearly um, uh, longer than uh, these uh, architraves here. And uh, we have also some um, reconstruction of the facade I give you here. Just a view of some details. So as you can see, uh, there was probably this kind of wall here because uh, uh, for the archive, I have evidence on this side that the text on the reverse of this block stops here. So here we have a wall uh, uh, perpendicular to the archive. And so this means that the text was continuing and uh, on this part uh, of the monument, which was obviously built uh, in in stone, and so this is, means that it's a strange monument. Uh, there's no uh, lot of example of monument of this kind in ancient Egypt, but this allow me to put here uh, a block which was found reused in the Luxor Temple, which is in Sankridif, and with the name of I and Tutankhamun, and the only place where I can put this block is here on the facade. Uh, of the monument. I have also been able to reconstruct the main door with only these three blocks here. 
and the one of the side door, which was between the two uh, Asiatic battle scene. So this is a block in Luxor, in Sunk Relief, with here the name of Tutankhamun, who was facing I, uh, whose name has been completely uh, erased under the reign of Horemheb. So uh, this monument is a uh, hut uh, Nebre Perure, so uh, a mention of Nebre Perure. This name is known uh, on the left bank. We have uh, this stella, which is now in the metropolitan and which was found at Deir el Bari, which mentioned a first prophet, probably of Amun, uh, inside the temple of Nebre Perure. And as this uh, man with a hat was also a uh, uh, scribe of the accounts of all, all the all the property, a good property in the temple of uh, Nebbatre, uh, we can uh, deduce that there was probably a mention of uh, uh, Tutankhamun not far from the mention of Amenhotep III. This uh, would be confirmed by uh, this uh, stamped uh, brick, which was found reused in the uh, uh, Northwest wall of uh, the precinct of Medinet Habu, Temple of Ramses III, which uh, belonged to a monument of Tutankhamun, of course. And uh, there is this strange mention, but not very sure, of the uh, hut uh, uh, of Nepre Perure, M. Perimen. Uh, it's written N. Perimen, but it's not really a problem. Uh, which would uh, mean that there was uh, something in the in the western um, uh, part of Thebes, and uh, for Regenson, uh, with whom I published this monument, and we have a lot of friendly, but uh, with uh, some uh, disagreements, uh, uh, friendly discussions, uh, even some uh, disagreements. He thinks that. Uh, uh, the monument was in fact the uh, funerary temple of Tutankhamun, and uh, that it was on uh, the left bank. And so here we have a, a photograph, aerial photograph of the Amenophium here, whose limit was broad, broader than what you can see here. The temple of uh, Amenhotep, son of Abu. Uh, in the vicinity here, and the Temple of Ramses III, the Temple of Tutankhamun, and uh, the Temple of Ai was somewhere here. And uh, there was the Temple of Tutmosis II, with the uh, same ritual on the statues. And here is a digging of uh, the Ihawas, we, who discovered this golden city, uh, which is in fact a very interesting uh, uh, settlement uh, with workshop from the very late reigns of Amenhotep III, and uh, which is uh, obviously linked to the uh, said festival of Amenhotep III. But uh, if on nothing related now for to the temple of Tutankhamun. And my idea, so uh, my idea is that it was in fact a, a building at Karnak. What are the evidence? Ben, first, the, the architrave were, were found in the second pylon, and I don't think that uh, it was possible uh, by this time to uh, cross the river for this block and uh, to be reused in the second pylon. So I would prefer that this uh, monument was built at Karnak, that he played even a role like a funerary temple, but at Karnak. First, we have other examples of uh, temples of millions of years at Karnak from the time of Sobek Hotep uh, and uh, the vizier Himeru, from the time of Ahmosis, who uh, made a, 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 a temple of millions of years uh, for uh, a temple of millions of years for Ptah at Memphis. Uh, for uh, Amun at Ipetsutso Karnak and probably for Ray at Heliopolis. We have also uh, 
uh, this text from the, the time of uh, Sheshak, who mentioned uh, that he made a temple of million of yours uh, for uh, for Amun, or in fact, it's a speech of Amun. We have this for uh, Tutmosis the third in the Achmenu, uh, which is considered as temple of million of yours, uh, which is confirmed by the, the dedication text of uh, of uh, published by uh, a gardener on the southern wall of Medina Tabu. We have this for Amenhotep II, who also built some temple of, uh, temples of million of years at Karnak. Uh, we have this for Tutmosis IV, and of course for uh, uh, the temple of North Karnak, which was supposed to be the temple of Montu, but which in fact it was temple for Amun, and in the dedication text it is said that it is uh, a resting place for uh, uh, Amun during all his feasts. So this means that uh, we can have a temple of million of years uh, at Karnak, and so uh, this means that for me it's not a, really a problem. We have uh, also some mention of the festival of the valley at Karnak. So there are these two blocks uh, reused uh, in the Khonsu Temple, but they can come from the West Bank, probably from the Temple of Seti the First at Gona. And this one mentioned uh, a, a resting place for the Lord of the Gods uh, during his uh, uh, feast, uh, feast of the, uh, beautiful feast of the Valley. And, uh, but we have also in the High Postal Hall, uh, some mention of uh, uh, Seti the first, who is uh, uh, following his father Amon Ray uh, during the uh, beautiful festival of the Valley, and this is in the High Postal Hall at uh, at Karnak. And we know that uh, since the time of Queen Achepsut, there was a navigation from Karnak to Deir El Bahari. It's natural that it exactly the same uh, ceremony as, as a, the beautiful feast of the valley, but it looks like very, very much. So it's very possible. And we know that this uh, goes back as far as the Middle Kingdom, that, because uh, in the uh, uh, walls of the temple built by Sezostis Premi, the first at Karnak, we have also a depiction of, of this uh, navigation to the West Bank. So I would favor uh, from my own, uh, the, uh, the location at Karnak for these monuments. So here, uh, the famous temple of Karnak at uh, 21 of December. And I'm really glad because now it's a big fest at Karnak, uh, this uh, special day. And uh, as you can see, there was a lot of images published on Instagram. For me, the location which could fit with the data would be uh, there under the northern part of the uh, hypothetical hall or in the uh, court, uh, in the first court in front of the first pylon, as we don't, uh, the second pylon, as we don't know who is the original builder of the second pylon. We know that it had been uh, achieved by Horem Heb, but perhaps it was uh, started by uh, Tutankhamun and I, we don't know that. And in this case, the uh, memorial built by Haifa Tutankhamun could have been built in this area. And now I thank you for your attention.